Hi guys and welcome back to iClone 3D where we discuss tips, tricks and tutorials for the latest animation softwares and if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on bell notifications for all our future tutorials. You can also follow me on Instagram at iClone3D and you can also get in touch for any requests, any work opportunities or just for a friendly chat. If you'd like to donate to the channel, you can use my PayPal email below and any donations are greatly appreciated. Now, without further ado, let's crack on with the tutorial. So today we're gonna to be looking at the Substance Super Tools and we're gonna be specifically looking at the Decal tab um, and how to use that and how to really kind of use that to some great effects. Uh, so what we're gonna do is go into our items and we're gonna load up a wall. If you just go into your props and just type in wall, should load up some available walls that come shipped with iClone and we'll just drag and drop that in. Now, you can see it's already got some textures on it, which is brilliant. Uh, we're not gonna mess around with any textures on the actual wall. We're just gonna leave that. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna add some textures to that. We're gonna add decals to the wall, um, you know, different types of textures. And I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that and why it's very, very useful actually. Uh, so we're gonna go into our packs and I've already got mine loaded up, but what you're gonna wanna do is look for Substance Super Tools. Uh, initially made for iClone 7, but works perfectly with iClone 8. So we'll just open that up and then we're just gonna drag and drop this tab here, the decal. Uh, you can see it comes with a number of different ones, but today we're mainly gonna be focusing on this one. I will do future tutorials that cover the rest of them. Uh, so we're just gonna drag and drop that on to our wall. But before I do that, I'm just gonna go here into our materials tab and we're just gonna go to the textures. And when we drag and drop this on, you're gonna see these are gonna change. And that means that uh, a substance tool has been applied to your prop. So I'll drag and drop that. And you'll see this little red flame come up, which means that's been applied. Now you can see it's changed uh, the texture a bit. And you know, if we zoom in and out, it looks very grainy and um, you know, it doesn't look really appealing to the eye. Don't worry, we're gonna show you how to fix that. Um, if you come up to, if you scroll down, sorry, to your substance here. So when you place the substance tool on the wall, it's gonna open up this substance tab for you and you can see that's now active. If I deactivate that, you'll see that turns off. So we'll just activate that. And we can simply change the output size for now. And you're gonna see what I mean. Um, we're gonna change it to 512 for now and that's gonna come back quite reasonable. You can still see a little bit of, um, something going on when you zoom in and out that doesn't look appealing to the eye. But you're gonna see that's gonna change when we add a decal. Now, down here in our substance tool, uh, we can see we've got the base, which is the wall, and that's the textures. We're not gonna be playing around with them today. But you can see it allows us now to add up to four different decals. Now, when you open this, you can see it's got a number of different texture maps, and it's got tweak, transform, and weight options that you can add to whatever decal that you add. And, you know, fascinating tools, guys. So I'm just gonna add this logo and show you exactly how these are so useful. Now, this is a logo from one of my friends, Fero TV. You can actually check out his website. He does some really cool animations. And we're gonna use his logo today to kind of show you what you can do with this tool. Now, firstly, we noticed that, you know, there's a number of different ones coming up on the wall. Maybe you just want one specifically. So we're just gonna go up to our UV settings here and we can actually change that by dialing in a different tiling value. So to do that, we just wanna make sure we've got lock ratio and affect all channels ticked. And then we're just gonna click that down to one. That should change that back to a single logo. Now you can see the problem here already is that we cannot actually see the full logo. Now, usually what you'd have to do is go into Photoshop, reposition, come back into iClone, check that you've got it in the right position. If not, go back into Photoshop, come back into iClone. So there's quite a big workaround normally just to position this logo because other than that, there's no other way you can actually select it and move it around. Uh, you know, if I click this and try to move it, you'll see that just moves the wall. So one of the amazing features of the Substance Super Tools is that if we go back down to our tab here, and we open our decal again, uh, we can now see we've got tweak, transform, and weight options. If we open the transform and then we click enable, that will drop down a number of these different dials. And you can see we now have the option to scale that and to move that about in the scene, to rotate that however we like, and position it wherever we want in the scene and you know on our prop. So, you know, it's really, really amazing just for that feature alone because usually 
you know, in Photoshop, you'd have to do a whole workaround. Another great thing is you can actually keyframe these different dials. So if we wanted to, you know, animate them, we could by maybe starting really small and we could come along in the timeline and we could scale that up a little bit and we could uh, move that across to the middle. And if we go back to the beginning and hit play, you'll see that's now animated that logo that you've placed on your wall. So, you know, really, really cool feature and really cool way to, you know, get creative and do some amazing stuff. Now, it doesn't stop there. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at a couple of things. Firstly, we can see the texture on the wall. The quality doesn't look too good. Now we can see it's not doing that thing anymore when you zoom in and out and it looks a bit glitchy or jittery. It's not doing that, but what we can now safely do is we can raise the texture quality on this wall. So if we go back up to, if we go back into our substance here, we can see we've got it at 512 by 512. So we can just up that to 2K and you'll see we've got a lovely looking textured wall that looks really high quality. Now, one thing I'm sure everyone's noticing is that it doesn't look like the logo is realistically stuck on the wall. I mean, it almost looks a bit like it was just placed there opposed to kind of being merged into the wall. Now, great way you can actually do that and really get that looking like it's part of the wall and, you know, great for graffiti, etc. is we can come down here again into our decal tab and if we just scroll down, we can come into our weight section. Now this opens up a number of different keys, as you can see here. And again, they're all animatable. You can keyframe them if you choose to. Uh, the ones we're gonna be focusing on is the normal and the roughness. And we're gonna look at the base color as well. Now, if we tweak these, you can start to see that our image starts to blend in with the wall. The logo starts to you know, blend more in with the textures and it starts to merge with the underneath textures of the wall. So that's the really great way we can now start to get that looking part of the wall. And, you know, we don't want to do it too much. We just want to really find the right balance and, you know, really kind of go really slow and just see what suits the scene. Now, when we've got our normal looking correct, we just want to go into our roughness and we can then adjust further and, you know, bring that down to, you know, get a totally different look. And just to, you know, really merge it more and blend it much more realistically with the wall. So if I leave it like that, that looks pretty cool. So we can see now that really does start to look part of the wall. And this is just a great way to really blend in graffiti or writing on a wall that you want to look like, you know, maybe a character put it there or is part, really part of the scene. And we can also play with the base color. We can also tweak that and just, you know, fade out the image a little bit more if we wish to, uh, maybe better for graffiti, etc. And that's exactly how we can now blend that and make that more you know, realistically blend in with the wall. So if we close this tab now, and we're gonna look at the tweak options that we've got here. Uh, you can see we've got a number of different options that we can do and start to tweak the image and get a really kind of different look. Now, you know, there's no creative limits here. I mean, you can kind of, you know, throw your creativity at it and, you know, get some really good looks, but I'm just gonna to start to play around with things and we're just gonna see what we can do. So you can see here, we can mess around with the contrast of it. And again, all animatable, we can keyframe everything in. We can play with the luminosity. And we can, you know, just maybe use that to blend in that little white border a bit more if you wanted to. And here we can change the color of the image. Now, again, this is an amazing feature, guys. You'd need to go into Photoshop and do this manually. And, you know, it could take a few minutes of work time to do it. You can just do this here very quickly, very easy. And um, if we turn the saturation right up, we can mess around with the hue here and just get different colors for the logo. And again, all animatable. So if we wanted to, for example, start off, sorry, I'm getting it wrong. If we wanted to start off here and then we move down in our timeline a little bit, not too much, about here. And then we can then uh, drag this hue all the way up. And if we hit play from here, you'll see that does some really cool color changing effects. So, you know, great way to just add so much different dynamics to your logos and get really creative and just do some amazing things. Now, furthermore, we can, you know, continue to add to this and we can mess around with the emissive maps, the roughness, the metallics, etc. And you'll see as you adjust these things, uh, you know, you'll get different kind of looks. So if you wanted a bit more of a glow, 
Um, we could turn the luminosity up, make that glow a little bit more. And, you know, you can really just play around with that and kind of go for whatever you're looking for. And, you know, just create something really cool, really stylized and just really unique to yourself. And you can do this with any textures, you know, you can get textures from online and Google, etc. And you can just put them in here. And, you know, with a little bit of refining, a little bit of tweaking, you can start to, you know, make them your own and give them a unique uh, look. Now, another cool thing that we can also do, um, I'm just gonna shut this. So we've got our little cool logo now that we've made kind of unique for us. Uh, we can then add another decor. And like I said earlier, we can add up to four. So if we just wanted to add some more to this scene, uh, if I just go onto my desktop and I should have a decals folder. And uh, okay, not this one. I just wanna go to my quick access. So I'm just gonna drop this one in and we can see straight away it drops it in the scene and uh, we just want to again go down to our transform and uh, we'll just tweak that a little bit get that in place and in the right position but now you can see uh, we've added two of our own you know decals to that scene and, um, you know, you can do, like I say, you can do loads of cool things. You can, you know, fade in and out. You can keyframe them to come in at different moments. And you can do all sorts of stuff. And again, you can tweak this and um, you can really start to play around with um, the contrast and the hues and just get your kind of overall different look um, and get a kind of, you know, really unique look going and something that you're kind of happy with. And as you can see, uh, you know, we get loads of different um, colors uh, just by dragging up the saturation so we keep that up and we'll just play with the hue and you know we can kind of you know do it to your heart's content until you find a look that you're ultimately happy with but you can see how quick you know that's taken me to change the whole color of that logo you know something that will take 10 15 minutes in photoshop you know has taken a matter of you know seconds <laughs> so you know really cool tool a really effective tool and a really great way to you know add decal to a scene and you know get it looking really amazing and really awesome and um, you know again you've got four different options you can add four different decals so you know you've got a kind of you know some great options that you can make um, I hope that helps guys you know really really hope that tutorial helps it was just a quick one and um, really hope to see you guys again soon for another tutorial.